so I now close that fucking Oh fuck off everyone welcome to the third part of the let's play ah uh, so reviewing what happened last time um, well we died a lot we died a lot oh and we died a lot Oh, and we found out that... We found out that there's freaky ass shit in the sewers! Um... Oh, and that Rachel woman and the hobo were, in fact, two of the only people to trust in the entire town! Maybe I've played too many games where the rich person screws you over. But I was expecting her to be one of the fi in league with the fish people. Um, but now they're dead. And I'm stuck in a church. That probably hasn't been used in quite some time. So... <coughs> we'll find out what happens we know we can't go out of the church otherwise we're dead they won't come into the church which it kind of weirds me out because as far as I was aware God isn't really a thing in the Cthulhu mythos. That sounded like someone regurgitating. Anyway, let's get going. Still attack of the fishmen, which is a bit peculiar. I know I fucking saved. Yeah. I'll never make it out of here alive. Just give yourself up, Bumpsnagger. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. <laughs> yeah, He's that's a lot. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Ooh. Uh, the defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not let you down, Carcass. What the hell am I doing here? The pulpit is stained with me. blood. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no <laughs> way out of there. In the shadows. Okay. So you're going bloody who Open these doors, Outsider! Bloody who nuts. You can't get away! Um hmm. 
Just give yourself what do up, I do? The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. Hmm. Let's see. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Well, supposedly there is. Hmm. Now there's a question. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the gal's carcass. What do I do? Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. Open these doors, outsider! Oh. You can't get away! Says you. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy. Ah! There we go. There's a raised section of tiling in the baptismal pool. No I can run. feel a strong draft of air coming from the drainage pipe. The tile appears to be on runners. It won't if budge. And this is where I start clicking on everything. The defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. It must be intended as a warning to the Christians of Innsmouth. Ooh, nasty. Just give yourself up, Bumpsucker. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. It's the minister of the church. He's been hung up and disemboweled as some sort of obscene the spectacle. There's no place you can run. Hmm. As you do. Oh, would you shut up? Something up here? Open these doors, outsider! You can't get away! Just give yourself up, Bumpsucker. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. There we go. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Oh no. Why did it have to be underground? Underground is almost as bad as a sewer level. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. No shit. Oh god, why Scott? Oh god, why is it leather bound? Why is it leather bound? It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. Okay. 
they all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. All these books are covered in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. History was never my strongest subject. <laughs> history was never my strongest subject. Kind of contradicts what he was saying earlier about researching the loads of, of Tom things. Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, aged 27. A rotting corpse, standard for most coffins of this period. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. It's the coffin of Tom Aye. Pickett, who okay. died in 1837, okay. aged 49. All these articles relate to the deaths of Innsmouth citizens. Hmm. It's no use. I don't know the combination. Uh, let's see. Postcard. On the back of the postcard, there is a handwritten religious verse. It must be a coded message. It reads, I ring the bells unto thy glory, O Lord, from the lowest unto the highest. And by the sacrament of baptism shall I enter into your secrets. Oh God, I worked that out without even... I did that by accident! <laughs> The postcard must also serve some other purpose. It is pieced, pierced by four handmade holes, each circled with a number of arrows. The arrows seem to signify some sort of order. I didn't even need to look at it. That was... Oh, shit. Don't tell me it's crashed. Fuck's sake. There we go. Yeah. You all knew it was coming. Because it always happens. So it's something very weird. And you'll have to sit through the fucking intro again. Sorry! Sorry about this, fuck's sake. And launch. Just launch the fucking game. Yeah. Wouldn't be so much of a... Oh, shit. At least now I know what to do. <clears throat> right. He's calling to me. Just give yourself up, Bob Slugger. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. I don't... I don't know why I'm here. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Oh God! The defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. The pulpit is stained with you blood. Get away. The defacement of the church yeah, yeah, must have like happened so. many months ago. Okay. 
There's a raised section of tiling in the baptismal pool. I can feel a strong draft of air coming from the drainage pipe. The tile appears to be on runners. It won't budge. Because of the amount of games I've played in the past where you have to check everything to be able to do anything. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. Open these doors! Yep, save. So you don't have to watch me do that again. You can't get away. We'll get you and your little dog too. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. Um, dum -dum. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. Right. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. They all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. All these articles relate to the deaths of Innsmouth citizens. It's no use. I don't know the combination. Uh, 1846 maybe? Or am I thinking too laterally? Seven bat seven births, six baptized, one died. Death six five buried, one lost at sea. Marriages five. Births nine, all baptized. Death seven, five buried, two lost at sea. Marriages three. Hmm. Twelve all bat. Jesus! 243, 235 in the disturbances and the epidemic, 240 buried, 3 lost at sea. Marriage is 2. But probably 7. No baptisms. Probably. Huh. Deaths, 3 reported, 2 burials, 1 coffin upon being accidentally dropped, broke open and was found to contain rocks and logs. This was not buried. Marriages, none registered. Hmm. Births, none registered, probably 10, no baptisms. Deaths, 5 reported, 1 funeral, others not certain. Marriages, none registered. Births, none registered, thought to be seven or eight, no baptisms. Deaths, none registered, four believed, no funerals. Marriages, none registered. Hmm. Peculiar. I'll need the combination before I can open it. Um. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. All these books are covered in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. Hmm.
the numbers seem to be random. I don't think they are. Oops. History was never my strongest subject. Uh, this guy is starting to annoy me. I'm a better investigator. There's a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the carving of an upside-down cross. Symbolism! Not really. Um. It's the coffin of S. Lawrence, born 1789 and died in 1826. History was never my strongest subject. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. It's the coffin oh, of Tom so Pickett, a decaying corpse. I'm sure it's bad luck to be disturbing the dead. It's the coffin of Tom... It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, Age 27. Bad luck to be disturbing the dead. You can't really have much more bad luck than you've already got, dude. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. <clears throat> It's no use. I don't know the comp. Combination. stone plaque engraved with a right um series of numbers That's how. That's how you. Seriously, back, backspace is how you skip scenes. Okay. In the clippings, 
the year 1846 okay, has been circled clipping. several times. It's the coffin of D. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett. Nothing but stones. I wonder what happened to the body. Hmm. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1836. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 18. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. Okay, what am I meant to do? It's the coffin of S. Lawrence, born 1789 and died in 1826. Delightful. We're in it. It's one of those sorts of grave sites. The disc is raised a little from the rock. I can't move it by hand. A small memorial to an old priest. A small memorial to an old priest. A small memorial to an old priest. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just clicking on everything really. Hoping. I only wonder why. History was never my strongest subject. Mm. Hey, that's on a coffin. I'm just going to check. Let's see. Right, uh, let's note these down, so... 
was probably barking up completely the wrong tree. Yeah, that was completely wrong tree. Uh, I am completely stuck. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, aged 27. History was never my Hang strong on. subject. So that's five years out. Hmm. Ugh, oh, this is so annoying. All these articles relate to the deaths of Innsmouth citizens. Did I miss something? It's the coffin of S. Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, born we know. 1789 and died in 1826. The edges of the disc are slightly worn. You know, I'm going to go back just in case because you can't get away. If I have missed something, I need to know. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Sorry about this, folks. If you're willing to come out now, 
Will not cut the down, Scarfhead. <laughs> Up outsider, there's no way out of there. Open these doors, outsider. You can't get away. I can get away from you. It doesn't seems I can't get away from myself. The order ah. have mercy on your rotten soul. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. If you're willing to come out now. Will not gut the gals, carcass. Fine. It looks like. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. Ow. Well, that didn't injure me. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. They all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. What? Am I missing? All these books are covered in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. It's the coffin of Tom Pick. It's the coffin of D. Slope, a decaying corpse. I'm sure it's bad luck to be disturbing the dead. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett. It's the coffin of D. S Nothing but stones. I wonder what happened to the body. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. It's the coffin. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, aged 27. I wasn't looking at either of them. Fuck's sake. It's no use. I don't know the combination. Yes, you fuck! I'll need the combination before I can open it. And if you don't guess it, you're gonna die in here! A decaying corpse. I'm sure it's bad luck to be disturbing the dead. It's the coffin of S. Lawrence, born 1789 and died in 1826.
this is History was never my strongest subject. Clearly, neither was maths or. History was never my oh, strongest shut subject. Shut up. History was never shut my strongest up. subject. It's the coffin of Tom Ugh. Beckett, who died in 1837, aged 49. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna have to look up a walkthrough because I am completely stumped. Right, let's see. done that fuck's sake it doesn't like all tabbing Continue. Alright. Oh, fuck's sake. You can't get away! That's what you think. Markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that it's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. So, 
what I do, I don't know how you're meant to... The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. So... Left... One... Four round seven... Right five... Alright, um... So that's... Turn... Turn... One... Turn... 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 Turn seven. Turn, turn, turn five. Turn three. Okay, um, Must have got something wrong. Okay. Oh, that's not right. have made a mistake um I'll be right back just need to grab something
let's test this. <clears throat> um, mm -mm. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Right, so one. Seven, five, okay. Um, yeah, fuck's sake, that's not right. Maybe I've got to... One... I'm just spitballing here. Okay, that... I don't get this. I As... must have made a mistake. No sh... Alright. Yeah. It appears to be some sort of code. Must have got something wrong. One. Seven. Five. That's not right. Mm. 
Let's go and count. Seven. Eight. I'm gonna check that walkthrough. I must have got something wrong. Because this is um <sighs> Oh fuck's sake. Sorry. Barely gotten anywhere with this play and already been playing for an hour for an hour. markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. It appears to be some sort of code. must have got something wrong. One. Seven. Five. That's not right. Okay. One. Seven. Five. Three. I... I, I don't get this. What is... I must have made a mistake. One. Seven. Five. Three. One, seven, five, three, one, seven, five, three. I must have got something wrong. I don't know how. A 
That's not right. Right. One. Seven. Five. This is ridiculous. Somehow, you, oh God. Markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. A small Wait. stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. Lowest to highest. They all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. The numbers seem... The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. Seven... Uh, it goes three, seven, five, one. How anyone's meant... Sake. I must have got something wrong. Three. Seven. 
five one I hate having multi uh, where is it That's not right. Three. Seven. Five. One. No. I must have made a mistake. And here we have my second purgatory. Uh, I wish I could get tips from you, but because my damned internet connection is quite useless, I have no idea what you're likely to have said. Oh, fuck's sake. I must have got something wrong. Right. That's not right. Yes, I know it's not right. I'm... Three. One. Seven. I must have made a mistake. Or is it seven three five? It appears to be some sort of code. Three one five seven. That's ah, fuck's sake. Sorry, sorry. Fucking old games don't like old games don't like new computers. So. at that there. time. Or maybe not. 
markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth, a small... The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. Seven, five, one. No. I must have got something wrong. That's not right. Uh, it's probably going to crash again, but fuck it. Called it. Three, one, five, seven. everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. A small... The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. Whoever worked out the order, I applaud you because that is... One, five, I must have got something wrong. I'm not sure what.
that's not right. must have made a mistake. Ah! That's not right. Yes, yes, that's it. I've cracked it. The directions are completely wrong! The safe holds a stone cross. Uh -huh. There's a small stone disc here hollowed out with the carving of an upside-down cross. For fuck's sake. Mm. And now into the sewers again Okay, this game is doing its job of creeping me the fuck out. I'll oh, thank God for that.
hear anything in the church? It's making sneak down. You better check the bank again just to be certain. Did I go in here? Search the area. Spread out. Search the area. Spread out. Bring Sam. Who's there? Kill him. Bring him down. Oh. My leg. Oh, that is. Yeah. Search 
the area. Oh God, why? Spread out. Search the area. Shit. Some of the planks look weak. Better watch my step. Spread out. Um, I'm going to raise the brightness. Because I can barely see anything. And hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this. Why are they just hanging around in the bank? They can't. Do I jump? I'm not sure. Get 
Where did he go? Spread out. Search the area. Spread out. Oh, Lord. Take the area. Spread out. Search the area. Spread out. Don't tell me I've got to search the area. Right. Spread out. Always saying the same damn thing. Search the area. Oh. Right, now it's getting a bit more interesting instead of having to watch me try to open that damn safe again and again. Search the area. Spread out. Spread out. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. Search the area. Spread out. Search the area. Spread out. Alright. No. Search the area. Spread out. Search the area. Kill him. Spread out. Search the area. Whew. Spread out. Search the area. Spread out. It won't budge. Okay. Search the area. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I've got. Spread out. Pick 
Not very well picking up all this ammo, but hello, Jack. Oh, Jesus! Have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny, I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work Oops. for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the burning boy, they're gonna kill him, Maggie. You know it, and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Maggie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. Not more jumping. See you around, Mackie. It won't budge. Decorative vases and bowls. All of them empty. Early hours. Everything in this godforsaken town is out to kill me. Around every corner, some hideously tainted thug is re is searching. I've managed to avoid them so far, though poor Rebecca wasn't so lucky. It's starting to look hopeless. Only Mackie doesn't seem to want me dead, and maybe he has an ulterior motive. His mention of investors in this town, and his knowledge of the esoteric order, clearly point to some level of involvement. Still, he told me where to find Brian Burnham, and he seems to pose no immediate threat. Even so, his apparent understanding of things in Innsmouth is unnerving. Am I becoming paranoid? After what I have seen and experienced, how could I know? The strain is certainly having an effect on my nerves. I'm beginning to hear and see things that can't possibly be real. I need to ignore these distractions if I want to get out of here alive. My best chance is to find Brian and break him out of the jailhouse. To do that, I'll need a plan. Yeah, better one than you've had so far.
wish it wouldn't do that. Use it! Okay, how do I draw weapons? What the shit? Finally! <sighs> Hold it there, skater! Fuck you. Fuck you, I've got a fucking cro- Oh, for fuck's sake. I had a fucking crowbar! Right. Probably nothing. Sake. Blocked. I can't go that way. You got anything to report? Nope. We should be out there, Nathan. Helping with the hunt. You have your orders. We're to stay with the sacrifice. They'll yield us much favor with the order. I uh think uh the chief's always up to napping. Why ain't he out here with us? His time draws nigh. Mark can't shut his eyes properly no more. He'll take the water. Then it'll be me taking charge around here. And it takes a be dark different. Now get inside and mind that you don't forget to bolt the door.
crowbar. That could come in handy. Back here would be a great hiding spot. I don't know why that was set in Innsmouth. Back here would be a great hiding spot. The door is bolted shut. Oh god, I've got to wait. Back here would be a great hiding spot. Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the Variety Store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the blazes would I rob my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. Look, just clear off before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah, Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. Whenever he throws a fit, one of Martin's mom are all over this alley like a rash. Especially tonight. They seem incredibly twitchy. Much more than usual. Yeah, that'd be my fault. Probably should repair myself. Undoubtedly, I look like mush at the moment. Ah, oh, a scratch knee. Still. Knowing how vital quick movement is in this. Not him. No. 
I, Dagon, I, I, Fatong, Fatong! I see your eyes at the window, hiding in the blackness. <laughs> I must have said him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. Oh, come on. They really did it. Seriously? Okay, I'm going to call it because this is getting rather old. I'll pick it up next week. At least I know some more of what to do. Sorry this was a rather dud episode. Uh, yeah. This is where the game gets really unforgiving, it seems. Eh, at least you got me, got to see me get past that damned safe and agonise over how to get it. The, the directions are wrong. There's no two ways about it. Anyway, calling it there. Again, sorry it was a bit of a dud episode. Night, everybody.